thousands of people who live in Gaza are citizens of other countries, among them up to 600 Americans. People who hold foreign passports are now gathering in the city of Rafa, which is in the south of Gaza at the border with Egypt. It's still unclear, though, if the border is open to foreign nationals. At the northern end of Gaza, Israeli troops are now standing at the ready while airstrikes continue. NBC senior national correspondent Jay Gray has more from Tel Aviv. Well, we've had evidence throughout the day and within the last hour or so that the Iron Dome over Tel Aviv is still operating several uh, aerial assaults that have been thwarted by that system. And, and that has continued really around the clock here at different intervals. But again, within the last hour or so, a couple of, of those missiles were diverted and, and removed from the airspace over Tel Aviv. What we've seen throughout the day here, and, and we're in one of the marketplaces in the downtown area, uh, it would normally be bustling throughout the day. It's reaching close to closing time now, but throughout the day it's been relatively empty. In fact, many of the shops just not opening because of the situation uh, that Israel is involved in right now. We talk to people in this area who will tell you that they are tentative, that there is a lot of concern right now about what's going on and what's to come in this situation. Not only do we see those aerial assaults here, but we've also seen throughout the day today military helicopters flying across the city at, at a very low airspace. And then early this morning, before the sun came up, we had fighter jets uh, rushing across this area, again at a low altitude, uh, toward Gaza for more of the bombings that have continued throughout the day there as well. A lot of the focus continues to be on the border, the Rafa border specifically, and uh, getting Americans out of uh, uh, Gaza through Egypt to this point that border remains closed nothing going in nothing going out the crowds are building there with word that that may be a an area where some can evacuate uh, we do know that the UN has called for uh, goods to come in for water for fuel and and other much needed items to move into Gaza at this point though that has not happened and what Egypt has said is they're not going to open uh, the border for uh, people to escape that region and move on if they don't see the goods going in first. And so that continues to be a hold up and negotiations diplomatically are continuing as well. What we also see is the consistent buildup of troops, of uh, munitions, uh, of equipment uh, for a potential ground assault. And that's something that we've been following over the last several days here. It hasn't happened to this point, uh, but there are still indications that we are getting close to Israeli troops moving in on the ground into Gaza and continuing this fight. That is the very latest right now here in Tel Aviv. I'm Jay Gray. Back to you. More than 4,000 people have been killed so far in the fighting. Around 1,400 Israelis and 2,700 Palestinians. More are wounded. Meanwhile, as the Wall Street Journal first reported, the Pentagon has sent prepare to deploy orders to about 2,000 U.S. troops to be ready to respond to the war. American troops would provide support roles in hospitals or with ordnance, and they'd likely be deployed to countries in the region, but not Israel.